Hi, uh, this is kind of frightening for me, but um, I think I might have COVID. Uh, 30 minutes ago, I received an SMS from the government. It says you are issued a health risk warning order under S15 of infectious diseases. I, I got a shock. Okay, but they didn't give me a phone call. It's just an, an SMS. So after that, I had to acknowledge it. So I have to press the link. Uh, tick the acknowledge box and uh, my wife is buying the ART test right now for me. It's it's kind of scary. I mean, what if what if I have Omicron? I mean, there is a possibility, right? So, 多分 濃厚接触者として認定されたんでしょうね。どこだろう。書いてないですよね。どうん書いてないですよ詳細は。うんで自覚症状はもうほぼ何もないです。Okay, so here is the ART test. I asked my wife to wait in the lobby at the hotel. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, yada na, shigoto do shio, ko naruto. Put this fluid in. Okay, here it goes. Okay. Swirl at least five times and break the stick. Wow, I'm so nervous. Five drops. And if I get two lines at C and T, it's positive. Okay, I waited 15 minutes. The result is positive. I had a bad feeling about this. <sighs> okay, so I need to report the result to the government. Uh, and I also need to send a photo of this. So, oh my gosh. Okay, I found a page that tells you what to do if you test positive for ART. Number one, you should immediately stop going to work and cancel your social activities. Number two, you should self-isolate for 72 hours at home. Number three, no need for MC if you have no symptoms. If the doctor has assessed you to have mild condition, you will be given an MC to cover the expected period of rest needed for your symptoms to resolve. Uh, what to do in the upcoming days? At the end of 72 hours, you should do a self-administered ART. You can exit self-isolation and resume normal activities when you get a negative result. Oh. Only, only three days, huh? If you continue to test positive, continue to self-isolate and self-test daily until you obtain a negative result or until 12 p.m. on day 7 or day 14, whichever comes earlier. Oh, I thought I have to do PCR, like after testing ART, positive. So, okay, um, I'm gonna have to pack up, go home. <laughs> Welcome to my new office. Uh, it's originally my gym. Uh, never had I imagined I will use it as an office, but <laughs> it looks pretty cozy. I think I can survive here for three days. Sorry, I know it's kind of echoey, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna stay here for 72 hours. COVID speak questions. My wife, she tested a negative, so thank God. But who knows, she might already have it. <laughs> uh, so I think she's gonna stay home for 72, at least 72 hours too. Uh, she's gonna take the ART test every day. Uh, just now I said I have no symptoms, but my throat is getting kind of itchy. But, but the thing is, I don't know where I got it from. Um, government only told me to immediately isolate myself and test for COVID. So the government has all my records, of like where I visited, uh, the close contact, but they didn't tell me potentially where I got it from. I am boosted, I got three jabs already, so I should be fine. So please don't worry about me. Um, currently, I only have an itchy throat. I'm feeling totally fine. So what's happening next? According to MOH, I will have to self-isolate myself for 72 hours at home. Then after the 72 hours, I will have to do the ART test. And, and if I test negative, I can live my normal life already. で、クセスもその管理はできてないと思うんですよね。だって何も提出してないから、その僕のその検検体とか。
So it seems like the government is already kind of considering COVID as like a normal flu. All the ART tests are self-registered. I don't have to see a doctor even once if I if I recover like this. Yeah, like really like really But to be honest, like it feels like nothing has really changed. Like because I, I didn't even receive a phone call from the government. So I said the ART positive result just now, right? But uh, I haven't heard from the government. Like there's like no updates so far. So it feels like nothing really changed. But uh, one thing that's really hitting me hard is how my wife is treating me right now. She treats me like a bacteria. And oh my gosh, uh, today is 27th, right? And it's almost CMY. And we were prepared to have fun. At my mother-in-law's place, we were we were supposed to gather together, enjoy CMY meal, or but. I cannot attend the dinner, and I think my wife, she, she cannot go to. So yeah, I kind of feel sorry for, for my wife, for my, for my family. And I have to reschedule all my shooting. I had like lots of client work. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now, and I'll get back to you later, bye. Two hours later. Yeah, so how is it over there? How is your, are you feeling okay? You ordered dinner, huh? Yeah. She knocked the door and I found this. My dinner. Yeah, like hotel Oh, thanks. Cool, it feels like I'm doing some kind of a hotel quarantine. All right, so it's day two. Um, I think I should give you an update on my uh, health condition. Um, I, I, I still feel completely fine, but I think <clears throat> My throat feels kind of like, it, it feels like there's something here. And I think I have phlegm and a bit of a runny nose. And I, I think I coughed quite a lot last night. Kazenの初期症状にすごく似てますね。なんか一部の人にとって多分オミクロンコロナウイルスって聞くとすごいなんかすごい心配されると思うんですよ。uh, My mother-in-law and my sister-in-law, they also sent me like a text message saying like, uh, are you okay? Uh, please recover. Let me know if you need anything. Uh, they are so sweet. But again, I I'm fully vaccinated. I even got the booster. It should be fine, hopefully. And I'm not gonna even bother to do an ART test because what's the point? Because even if I test negative, I still have to quarantine myself for 72 hours. That's the law. So I think the next ART test will be like 48 hours from now. えっと、よく言われる味覚障害とかは今のところありませんね。美味しく I also feel kind of uh, dizzy, kind of like my head is kind of heavy, you know, that kind of feeling you get when you have a flu. So even if I have COVID, I need to do some work. So let's get to it. Finish some of my work. Getting kind of tired. なんかこうしてる方が楽になってきましたね。Couldn't even finish half of my coffee. Uh, oh yeah, I need to do this. This is a mouthwash and gargle the government provided like most of the Singaporean households like a while ago. I think I should use this because my throat kind of feels weird. <laughs> I probably have to disinfect my whole whole house after I recover and I feel very sad. Wow, thanks. Thank you. Look what my wife made for me. Arigatainé. I'm feeling totally fine, but now I feel like over here it's kind of like, it kind of feels weird. Kind of, kind of like someone lightly squeezing. Um, yeah, I'm still listening to music and working and I think I should take a break drink more water all right thanks all right so this is today's lunch my wife kindly cooked me some porridge with plenty of veggies and shiitake mushrooms and uh, fish wow look at how soft this fish is hmm <laughs> whoa that melted uh, this is tuna cotter. 
Uh, we got this from Kuria live stream uh, two weeks ago. So I'm hosting this uh, monthly uh, like online event where we introduce lots of delicious Japanese food from Japan. Um, the next one is actually okay February 23rd, uh, 7.30 p.m. It's going to be aired on their Facebook channel. So I'll put a link in the description box below. They have great, insanely cheap deals going on. One week later. I have a happy news. I finally tested negative. After seven days. It was so long. It was so long. And what may surprise you is that even if I had tested positive, after seven days of isolation, I can already go out and live my normal life. That's the current rule in Singapore. But I'm glad I finally tested negative. Uh, time for some celebration. Uh, I ordered a lot of food from Umamil, who is kindly sponsoring this segment. Oh, I feel so weird walking here. I miss my living room. All right, so here is everything I bought. If you don't know, Umamil is an online supermarket where you can purchase a lot of Japanese ingredients, drinks, food. And I know there are a lot of online supermarkets, but what's special about Umamil is that number one, you can get free deliveries on orders above $30, $30 only. Most other online grocery stores requires like $50, $60, $80. And number two, some products are really insanely cheap. For example, the natto. This was on sale. I bought it for $1.4 for three packs. And that is like insanely cheap compared to other supermarkets and other online supermarkets. And finally, number three, you can also find rare Japanese ingredient in food that's not out in the market yet. And good news, they're providing a coupon for you guys. Uh, you can use my code to get $10 off. So make sure you check out the link and the code in the description box below. Okay, let's cook some delicious food. I, I'm stoked. All right, first, before our appetizer, I'm cooking a very simple soup using this instant miso soup. Life is good when you don't have COVID. Mmm, wow. I'm so happy I don't have um, loss of appetite, which some people do when they get COVID. Mmm, the Japanese shiitakes are the best. Okay, fired up. Let's cook more appetizers. Wow, so soft. And oh my gosh, I was most excited about introducing you guys to this. It's called Kantsuma. Basically means canned uh, food that will go well with your uh, rice or even alcohol. It's Atas canned food. It's not cheap, but it's so good. I bought it for my uh, dad like last year for his birthday and he was very happy. And I'm, I'm so happy I can get this directly from Japan using Umamil. And these I'm gonna send it over to my mom later because I'm sure she'll love it. Wow, amazing Japanese canned food. Arigato. Wow, so neat arrangement, huh? Let's check out what's the next. Unagi, is it? Sesie, my Jipun babies. Thank you. Arigato. My Oji-san. Oji-san. Oh, look at that. This salmon is so fatty. Alright guys, time to celebrate! Itadakimasu. I'll start out with the egg omelette. This is very cool, you just have to defrost it. It comes frozen. And it tastes amazing. Wow! Tastes very authentic, sweet and nice. And now the exciting part, the kantsuma. I'll try out the harasu, the salmon first. Wow, look at how delicious this looks. Mm. Oh! It's smoky. Wow, so fatty and soft too. Okay, let me try this unagi. Oh wow, sweet and nice. Wow, good. Goes well my porridge. Wow. Amazing. Siang eh? Okay, next one, the mini scallops. This one is smoked too, so it has a very nice aroma and taste. And the scallop is from Hokkaido. So good. Yeah, I definitely need to open some of my sake. All right, so these two sake are from Takala, which is founded in 1842, so it's very old and traditional. All right, so this is the Daikinjo, which is the one of the most premium type of sake. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's so 
うんおわおあつフルーリーまろやかそしてあこれ絶対これに合いそううん、oh, the miso flavor is really strong and this one's only 4.5 I think it's very good deal うん、great with my sake too okay, okanpei time let's cheers wow, this is a Japanese akadama sweet red wine let's cheers and kanpei yeah alright, the next one is the kimoto junmai Mmm, oh, uh, so different. So if you're wondering what Kimoto Junmai is, um, it's basically they're, they're made in a different, different way. I won't go into the details, but um, it should have a more complex, deep flavor. And I think it does. And I feel like it's also kind of lighter. Kanpei! Yes. Oh, wow, it's 14% alcohol, you know? It's going to make me drunk tonight. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Wow. Nice wine, huh? Oh, huh? Oh, huh? Oh, nice cheers. tasty. Wow, nice tasty. Okay, time for the main dish. Okay, first up is takoyaki. People from Osaka like me, it's like essential. We need it. And this is so cheap. Uh, for 50 takoyaki balls, it only costed me 17.9. So much cheaper than buying it outside. Get it, guys. Can never really go wrong with takoyaki. Delicious. This is something I will buy again because it's so cheap. It will be a quick lunch. And this one I was excited to try too because it's very affordable. Uh, Fourteen dollars for ten crab claw meat. So it's wrapped in this special smooth white sauce. Mmm. Mm. Wow. I love it. It's creamy, crispy, and look at the crab. That's real crab meat, it's not fake. And of course I need to try their natto. One of my favorite Japanese foods. Look at how sticky and delicious looking this is. This reminds me of Fear Factor. Like last time I watched an episode, like they made the contestants eat natto and everybody was like throwing up. <laughs> because for me I was like, what? I would be so happy if I were you. Mmm, that's a solid natto. And for $1.4 dollars, it's a steal. Get this right now, go to the link and use my coupon, get this, super nice. And of course we have some dessert as well. I got the Furano Yukitoke Cheesecake from Shinya. And oh, this is one of my favorites, Tea Grey. They sponsored my video a while ago. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Look at the texture of the cream. It looks like it's freshly made. Now that looks delicious. Okay, there are four layers here. The cream on the top, the cream cheesecake, and the jam that adds beautiful contrast, flavor, tartiness, and the crust. Beautiful four layers of happiness. Mm. This, I also don't know where else you can get. Next up is Tigley, again, one of my favorites. This one is very a toss as well, but this will make you happy. It will be a great gift as well. Come to six of these. It's basically like a chocolate ganache. This one I highly recommend it with a coffee. The texture, the flavor, the quality is really unbelievable. And the chocolate is so smooth too. Incredibly buttery, smooth, soft. ごちそうさまでした。幸せな気分ですね。で、最後にそのコロナになった感想をちょっと述べたいなと思います。So I already posted on my IG story. Uh, follow me if you haven't yet. COVID symptoms for me were very mild. I only had slight discomfort here at the throat and slight giddiness. And I had some work to do, but I just didn't feel like doing it. I think I was pretty tired from COVID. And it was also very mentally stressful and tiring for me to have to isolate myself from my family, from, from the world. So I started talking to myself in my room and I, I also sang with my guitar and that, that got my wife very mad. She's like, you have COVID, so don't talk, you know, you, you might spread it to me. My wife was very, very stressed. She, of course, don't want to get it from me. Um, it, so it's kind of mentally stressful for not only me, but for my family as well. And I am negative right now, COVID negative, but I don't think my wife and my in-laws would want to meet with me for a few more days or even a few more weeks just to be safe, you know? So it really affected 
my work schedule and my relationship with my in-laws. Like they are, they are scared of me now. So a lot of people are starting to consider uh, Omicron as like a common, common uh, cold, like nothing really serious. And it may be true, it's not really a fatal disease anymore, but the problem is you have to isolate yourself for at least three days and maximum seven days. And again, that will screw up your work schedule, screw up your social life. And of course, there is a risk of having COVID side effects such as like a brain fog, lack of taste, lack of smell, and that can stay with you eternally or for a long period of time. And that was, that's very scary for me. So I am COVID negative, but I feel like it might take a few more days or a few more weeks or me to get back my normal life and it was very tough for me especially in the initial stage where i had to uh, isolate myself like I, I felt like i was gonna go crazy but a lot of my followers on instagram encouraged me uh, thank you so much i hope you all don't get covid but i will say it will be pretty normal to get it because we had like 10,000 cases yesterday in Singapore. So even if you get it, it's all stay strong, uh, positive. No, 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 not positive. I shouldn't say positive. And don't forget to use my coupon code uh, to get $10 off your order from Uma Mill. Uh, they are a great website. I genuinely recommend it. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye. Till next time. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to put this segment in this vlog, but um, it's a quarantine diary, so I think I'll just include like everything what's, what's happening to my life right now. Um, so I'm reading this book called How to Win Friends and Influence People. And I know the title, the title is kind of like E. But in reality, uh, nobody could live alone, right? We all need someone's help. For example, I need someone to uh, put captions on my English speaking videos. Uh, I need someone to edit my videos. Uh, currently, I need my wife to uh, prepare food for me. So we all need someone's help. And this book actually teaches you to uh, kind of how to uh, effectively ask someone's help. I thought I should read this because um, it's, it's probably gonna be helpful for my everyday life. And Trust me, it's really life changing. All right, so this is my note. I only read like 30 pages, so I only have like two principles jotted down, but um, number one, don't criticize, condemn, or complain. And this is like so difficult. I think it's not just for me. For all human beings, it's like, it's so much easier for us to criticize rather than uh, appreciate something. You know like some bosses, right? They will, they will only like condemn you. They'll only criticize you. They will, they will not appreciate your work, but in the book, it says that someone asked Benjamin Franklin his key to success. And he said, I will not speak ill of no man and speak all the good I know. And this is like, wow, how does he do that? <laughs> it's so difficult. So the point of principle one is to try to understand humans instead of condemning. Because if you try to understand people, it breeds sympathy, tolerance, and kindness. And when I read this, I was like, wow, that's, that's so true. It's easy to kind of understand, but difficult to practice in real life. Principle number two, give honest and sincere appreciation. And this principle was eye-opening for me too, um, because not many people appreciate things. It's so much easier for us to complain about something, just like criticize something. We don't really appreciate. So humans in general are, are hungry for appreciation. This got me thinking like, do I appreciate enough of what my wife, my in-laws, my family are doing to me? Am I expressing my appreciation? So principle number two, I'm trying to also practice. Uh, I, actually, uh, I actually thank a staff working at this restaurant um, two days ago. He, he, he had a great service. He was, he was just so entertaining. So before I left, I, I, I told him, thank you for the hospitality. Uh, your food was amazing. And he, and he, he looked happy. And it's probably because not many people say that. So this is something I can do, you can do from, from today onwards. And for you who's watching this video, you can start showing your appreciation by simply clicking the like and subscribing to this channel. People are hungry for appreciation. And if you show your appreciation, that person will most likely uh, start to like you. And if he likes you, you can get their help. <laughs> All right, see you guys later.